Hello, y'all. It is Ocho. Uh, today, I'm going to teach you about major scales and how to write them on the staff and how to identify them. So this is what we do. A major scale is you, you've sung them and heard them since you probably knee had to pig eye. It's just the do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. We've done them over and over and over again and you mindlessly go through all those and like, da, 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 da. but I'm going to teach you how to write them now. So um, before I have us write through them, I want you to look over at these five rules or steps to help you do it accurately. Um, so a scale is just a series of sequential notes on a staff. So there must be eight notes. You have to start and end on the same note in a major scale. And you can only use, uh, not including the starting and end note, you can only use every other letter name once. So you can't repeat the same, same note twice. So you can't use F and F sharp in the same scale for a major scale. You need to use the major scale pattern of whole steps and half steps um, to add in the correct sharps or flats or lack thereof. Uh, and we'll talk. We'll find that pattern in just a second together. Um, and when you're writing in the sharps and flats, you can't mix sharps and flats together in the same scale. If your if your thing starts the flat, you're gonna have flats all the way through. You can't add in sharps and vice versa. If there's sharps in it, you can't use flats. You did something wrong if that happened. Okay. So we're gonna find this major scale pattern and the way to do it. If you ever for, if you can't memorize this pattern, just always go back to the C major scale. So we're gonna start. I have to treble clef right here. So we're gonna start with C major. And we're just gonna go all the way up to C. We have eight notes. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we start on C, we end on C. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's good to start labeling like that because eventually I'll talk to you something about scale degrees. So that's what that is. Scale degree numbers, when do we write them in eight? The pitch letters. We have C, D, E, F, G, A, and B. And I'll just give you right away, the C major scale has no sharps, no flats in it. So this is what a C major scale looks like in the treble clef. Sounds like that. So what we are going to do, we're going to find out the pattern of whole steps and half steps for a major scale, okay? So whenever I, I do a whole step, I'm probably going to do something that looks like that. And a half step, I'll do a little arch like that. I'll just put both. We'll, we'll see what I feel like doing. Okay, so C piano. Going from C to D, is it a whole step or a half step? We have one, two. We have two half steps. So it's a whole step going from here to here. So we have a whole step. I put a W, you can put a one. I don't really care, whichever one works best for you. Going from D to E, we have one, two. So it's a whole step right there. Whole step. Going from E to F is the next one. Is this a whole step or a half step? Remember, this is the one that's a natural half step on the piano because there's no black note right there. So this one right here is a half step. So we have a half step. Beep. I put a half step. I, I just give you options of how you want to write the pattern now. Next one, going from F to G. F to G is also a whole step. So it's a W. It's a one. Going from G to A is also a whole step because we have one half step, two half step. Boop. Another whole step. Boop. Going from A to B, it's a whole step or a half step? One, two. We have another whole step. Whole step. And then we're going back to C. If you are doing this and you find your pattern of whole steps and half steps is off, you messed up. But right now, going from B to C, 
is a half step because there's no black note right there. It's a half step. So the pattern is whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. So I'm going to write that up here so you can see it. Whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. So I like, or you can do numbers, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. There's a couple ways that I can help you memorize this. There's one saying that's, we walked home when we walked home. We walked home when we walked home. So that's a nice excuse that you just tell your mom. What were you doing when you walked home? We walked home when we walked home, mom. <laughs> or you can think of it um, as a one in the center with the one, one half on each side. One, one half, whole, whole half. Whichever way works best for you. Just kind of get that pattern in your brain or always go back to the C major scale to find out the... Um, the pattern, if you can't remember that. We walked home when we walked home. Whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Or someone says, whale, whale, whole, whale, 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 whole. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm done with that. <laughs> so let's try um, this pattern on a more tricky um, scale. Okay, I'm gonna erase all these. I wish I could just edit all this stuff out, but I, it's faster with my finger. Sorry, more get my oils on ya. But I don't have a fancy computer to do that stuff and I don't have the time. I'm sorry. Okay, so right here, let's start. Let's do an A flat major scale. Okay, so we have an A flat right there. Boop. So the first thing, we have to start and end on the same note. So we have to use some ledger lines with this one. So A flat is up there. Make sure it's A flat, not A. It has to be the exact same pitch. And now we have to fill in the holes in between. So you have A. I'm not adding accidentals yet. We're just getting all the notes in between. Okay, so we have our A flat right here. We have a B. I don't know if it needs sharps or flats yet. C, D, E, F and G and then back to A flat. So we need to use our pattern of whole, whole, oops, that was a little, a little too big, half, whole, oops, I keep doing that, why? Whole, 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 and then half. Okay, so since we have this one already, check, done, check, done, check, done, I have to use the major scale pattern to find the, the accidentals, and you can't mix accidentals. So since we have a flat right there, you know that you can't have any of these be sharps. Okay, so here we go. We're at A flat, I'm probably gonna have to loop around, but here's A, and there's A flat right here. So you have to go up a whole step. So we have half step, whole step. So this is B flat, right? So we have to add a flat to this right here. And also just a little tidbit, when you're writing the letter out like this, like the uh, written out, like normal handwriting, the flat comes after the letter, but when it's actually written on the staff, the flat comes before the letter. Okay, so we got that whole step right there. So now we're at B flat. We have to go up another whole step. Yes, another whole step. Beep, beep, beep. So that is a C. We have C right here, so we don't need to do anything with that one. So this is good. Ding, 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 ding. Now we have to go up a half step, right, from C to D. So C, going up a half step right here, is D flat. So we have to have a flat right there. So 
we got that done. Now we're here at D flat and we have to go up a whole step to some type of the E. So we have a half step, whole step. It's E flat. So this flat right here on E needs to be added. We're done with that. Now we have to go up another whole step. I'm going to go, I'm going to jump over to this E flat because it's easier than looping around. So we're right here. We have to go up a whole step. So we have one, two. So that is an F. We already have an F written, so we don't need to do anything with this F right there. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, next one. We need to go up a whole step to G. So, wait, F, yeah, whole step up to G. So right here on F, and you go up one half step, whole step. So G is good, so we don't need to do anything with that note. And then go from G to A flat, you have to go up by a half step. So G's right here, up back to A flat. And this is how you check your work to make sure that you did it correctly. Does that make sense? So this is the major scale. A, A flat, B flat, C flat, D flat, D flat, F, G, A flat. And if you have a piano at home, you can check to make sure that it's correct. Um, so that's the pattern how you do whole, uh, the whole, whole half whole, whole, whole half for major scales. You want to do one more? Let's do one more. If you get it, you can go on. If not, let's just try it one more time. Let's see if we can do one that has sharps in it. Okay. Let's do B major. Hmm. Yeah, no. Let's do D major. So we start on D and we have to find out if we have sharps or flats in it. So we have to start and end on the same pitch. Boop. has had eight notes, only using each note once. So we have D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and back to D. We have to use the pattern of whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. So going from D to E is a whole step, right? You got that. The next one right here, we have we have to go up a whole step. I'm not writing those things, so just so you can not be not be so wordy on the board. We have to have a whole step right here. So we have whole, whole, half. So from E to F, it has to be a whole step. So E to F right here is only a half step, so we have to go up uh, a sharp to F sharp. So it has to be a sharp right there. Okay, the next one. We have to have a half step, go from F sharp to D, sorry, to G is a half step already, so that one is good. And the next one pattern is whole, 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 half. Okay, so going from G to A, we need a whole step. G to A, that is a whole step, so we're good. And then going from A to B has to be another whole step. So we have A, half step. Whole step. So B, yep, we're still good right there. Now we're gonna go from B to C has to be a whole step. So we have B up a half step to C up a whole step to C sharp. So this C right here has to be sharp. And then we check our work on this last half step. So going from C sharp to D has to be a half step. And that's the case right there. Does that make sense? If not, come see me during async time and I'll make it work for you. Love yous.